Welcome back. We're excited to show you this video. This is a time lapse taken from the International Space Station of Earth. The purpose of the montage is to celebrate Earth Day tomorrow. Of course, NASA has the best view of our planet, so tomorrow is a big day for them. And when you think of NASA, you may think of mighty rockets, rovers, and astronauts. Yeah, but what you may not realize is that NASA is actually home to the largest group of Earth scientists in the world. With more than 25 satellites in orbit, NASA tracks critical changes all over the globe, from air quality to extreme weather patterns. Here to celebrate our home planet this Earth Day is NASA scientist Dr. John Bolton. So the Earth, I, I like to say, is a system of systems. So we have the, the hydrologic cycle, the carbon cycle, and energy cycle, and they all work together. And we've, we've been learning a lot of very interesting things about our world and how it all works together and our role in the world and what we're doing uh, with that. So you are a water expert and you touched on this, uh, sort of the paradoxical nature of climate change driving both too much water and too little water. And we are, again are experiencing this right now in Minnesota. We have uh, record flooding going on in some cases, certainly the worst flood statewide in several decades. Following a year later, the biggest drought in decades. So can you kind of talk about how climate change could be causing both? Yeah, so climate change, what we're seeing is an intensification of this water cycle. So dry areas are becoming drier, wet areas are becoming wetter. And not only that, it's, it's real, where people settle as well. So we see along the coastline, we're seeing because of the increasing of sea level rise, we're seeing that this is affecting uh, properties along the coast as well. And we're having more intense and more frequent storm surges, and of course, more frequent uh, tropical storms as well. So what NASA is doing is we're working with, with decision makers and partners all over the world, really, and we're able to take a huge step back, you know, to, from the vantage point of space and take a big, long look and see what exactly is happening. And what we're seeing is that there are significant changes happening um, all over the planet. And what we're trying to do is help uh, allow us to mitigate the the disastrous impacts of these future changes. You mentioned uh, communicating with communities and lawmakers and, and international and intergovernmental agencies. Can you talk a little bit more about that? What are you sharing with them? Sure. So water is 90% uh, of natural disasters are water related, right? And so it's, it's very, very important when we're, we're looking for, through the context of, of hazards and natural hazards and, and ways for us to protect um, our populations and our people and our connections. So we work either through floods and drought protection. And um, another big part is we work in agriculture. And agriculture is a, is a global business, right? So the, the, uh, the amount of, of how frequent and, and what types of crops that we grow in the United States are, are relevant to crops grown all over the world. So we're able to assess and increase the, the types of crops and increase the yield and health of the food that we grow from integrating satellite observations. It's very, very interesting. Will you be doing anything special on this Earth Day to celebrate? This Earth Day will be a very fun Earth Day for me. My daughter and I are planting a flower garden. Uh, I think I've, I've been tasked with doing most of the digging and she's gonna do most of the planting, but it, it will still be very, very fun. Even the rocket scientists can't figure out how to get out of the work, right? <laughs> right, not when your daughter's involved. Yeah. I liked that, though, that using um, the data that they have to make these like practical decisions about agriculture, like that's really cool that that's happening behind I, the scenes. I had that question uh, early on when we had this, these opportunities now over the past several years to talk to NASA scientists. I'm mm -hmm. like, why does the space organization have such an impact on, on climate change and what goes on on Earth? And they're like, well, we have the best vantage point. And it, I honestly didn't even think of that, but it's true. And the historical context of what they've seen over the yeah. past decades of being up in space, definitely driving things Super in the future. Cool.